we're back. So, part two. Part two. Where we left off, we had a wedding ring, which we'd never done before. So now, the exciting part, the engagement. Which when is he gonna give it to me? Which we've also never done before. <laughs> never, ever been engaged. Okay, so here is the story. Ready, set. Give it to Aspen and see what she has to say about it. I'm gonna ask her to marry me. Will you marry me? Yes! I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I think it finally worked. Oh my gosh, we're engaged. It's amazing. She said yes. <laughs> so, here's the story how it all happened. We have this beautiful ring, and it's months and months and months until we're supposed to get married. And I'm like, <laughs> what am I gonna do with this? amazing ring. I can't wear it. That'd be awkward. It does fit him. It does fit me though, because I've got little skeleton fingers. It's kind of weird, but shh, don't tell anybody. I was just thinking to myself, okay, how's this going to work? Um, and we had to kind of make some big, big decisions. Totally. Because we didn't want to get married till September because over the summer I was going to go be a humanitarian trip leader and he was going to go do summer sales. And then I realized through the whole thing we went through over like the holidays and like the troubles and trials we had about getting the ring and working through my like personal anxiety stuff <laughs> i realized like ultimately all i wanted was just to be with drake so we just gave everything up <laughs> yeah we decided to stop dragging our feet i gave up the job opportunity i had she called the people that were heading up her humanitarian ship and said Maybe next time. Totally. It was crazy. We just felt like God wanted a different plan for us. Like we mentioned mm -hmm. last time. We had this plan and we had it all laid out. And ultimately, that's not what we were meant to do. <laughs> so, we finally decided to change courses, change tracks, and work another direction. Mm -hmm. um, and it got quite a bit easier from there. Oh, um, so much easier. I feel like when you're trying to do things not like that you're supposed to or when you're trying to force a path that you're not supposed to go on God's like come back <laughs> and as soon that. as you go that way then it's like everything else just works out so much better mm -hmm. he started working with me in the Tannerite so we got to spend more time together which like really strengthened our relationship and we started figuring out that we're going to buy a house together which will be another episode because we've mm -hmm. never done that all these things started to fall into place now the problem though was we knew that we weren't going to wait the whole summer to get married but when were we going to get married? Mm -hmm. It was going to be sooner, but how much sooner? When was it? So we decided, why wait to get married in the summer, which everybody gets married in the summer. It's also more expensive. Found that out. So we're like, why don't we just get married as soon as he gets done with school and before the summer starts? So then we can have all these adventures as a married couple in the summer. We picked a day, all these things, which is so backwards. 
not engaged, pick a date, then I'm a huge planner. So I go full wedding planning mode. What was it? Did you have, I think there was everything. Wedding dress, venue, catering opening. Oh, photography and videography. That was all taken care of. Literally the- Flowers. Oh yes, flowers. (laughs) How could I forget? Literally the only thing left was- To get it. Was to put that ring (laughs) on her finger. And I was like, oh my gosh. By this time, it's it's what, it's January? No, it was like February. Beginning of February? February. I have 70, 80% done. I like call places. I'm like, hi, I just want to talk to so-and-so about the venue or the <laughs> catering or whatever. And they're like, okay, great. So you and your fiance, I'm like. Yeah, me and my fiance. Yep, me and my almost fiance. Cruising right along. It's still, so let's do the math. February, March, April, May. We're getting married in May. Still two months. So I'm like. That's still like a while before we're supposed to get married, and I just have this ring sitting here. Like, I don't think I, we're supposed to be engaged that long. I don't think that's yeah. the way to go. But I started. I decided to stop dragging my feet. Everyone's asking me. We go play pickleball with people. We go to work. <laughs> our parents, our families, Church. people on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram was huge. Yeah, that was the worst part. Just every post that we'd have together, there was at least three comments it's like, "When are you guys gonna get engaged?" I was hoping this was an engagement picture. <laughs> So then it gets to me, I'm like, have the wedding planned. I know he has the ring. And then every weekend after February 14th, because I said he couldn't do it on Valentine's Day, I'm thinking, okay, well, now there's no restriction. So it has to be coming soon. And week after week after week after week, never comes. Never comes. February passed, a few weeks in March passed, and And she's like, like, silently getting anxious. And I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. Just trust me, it's coming. So he waits. And again, I have everything planned. So we're taking our first look video, which is awesome, which we are gonna have a whole episode on soon. And so we do our first look video and our pictures, like the last weekend in March and the first weekend in April. Those are already booked. So I'm like, to take engagement pictures and a first look video, we need to be (laughs) engaged. (laughs) And I'm so just like, it's okay, I've got it. You wasn't coming quick enough no for the i hate surprises when i know they're gonna happen i love to be surprised but if i know it's coming then i hate it so i know it's coming and then i'm asking all these questions which later in the story you'll find out is a huge problem <laughs> yes i've been trying to scheme where to take her how to do it who's going to be there all that type of stuff i've coordinated with families i was like okay today is the day or not today is the day this is the day march 19th is the day I'm gonna go take her to Zion's National Park. I wanna take her up on top of Angel's Landing, get to the top, have it recorded, and propose and ask her to be my wife. I was like, yes. Perfect, perfect. Plant, right? We'll so have, perfect. We'll have the parents and family down at the bottom of the trail so they can congratulate her and us. And yeah, we'll be so excited be so awesome. and it'll be awesome. And that's great, that's the plan. It we've got, awesome. we've got everything plan. lined up. That. And things never go how you plan. That's a whole theme of our channel. <laughs> the day finally comes, March 19th. People are just waiting so patiently for that day. This woman mm-hmm. included, and she was. She was so patient. But prior to this date, I'm asking all these questions. Like, when is it going to happen? Then I go all anxious, and I'm like, you're never going to propose. <laughs> you don't want to get married. <laughs> So, I'm asking all these questions, like who's gonna film, what's gonna happen, all these things. And during that, he's trying to answer without giving the plan away, because he knows the plan, but I don't. So he doesn't want to give the wrong information. But she wants to. But I want to know, but I really didn't want to know. Like, I really didn't. And then we were driving up north to visit family again, and we're talking, and I'm again asking a million questions. Yes. And he accidentally gives the location. He tells me we're going to Zion's. I'm like, no! Oh, he was oh so my sad. Gosh. I was and so I mad at myself. felt so bad. I was like, I shouldn't have asked questions. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I felt like I totally blew it. And then as soon as I found out, I was like, dang, I ruined the surprise. We are driving home. His sister just texted him a few days later asking the date of the proposal. He says, March 19th. We're coming home from visiting his cousin, and she texts, this is a few days later, and she says, hey, I'm not going to be able to come down this weekend. I have a dance competition. 
And already in my head, I'm like, okay, he's proposing. So I'm like, oh, that's sad. I don't know when, Friday or Saturday, I don't know. So I tell him that she can't come. And then he says, oh, we'll just text her back. Forgetting that. That there was a text right above that said March 19th. So I unlock the phone, go to text her back, and I see. And I'm like, oh, no. (laughs) I know now the location and the date story continues it's the day she walks in the apartment what she didn't know what my side of the story is is we're planning on going to angels landing which is like deep in um zion's national park and she has never been there so like oh sweet it's gonna be great something that we've never done before it's gonna be super romantic it's gonna be an awesome adventure and i'm so stoked my buddy walks in to where we're all waiting um for Aspen to come, and he says, oh my gosh, in order to get that deep in design, we have to take the shuttle, and the shuttle tickets are sold out. Uh. I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I knew that I was, there was something I was forgetting, I could, forgetting, I could tell, I could feel it, because normally sometimes you can just drive your car all the way up there, not this time, totally wrong. And that's, and I'm like, he tells me this, I'm like, what are we going to do? And I like start to formulate a new plan when all of a sudden on the front door. And I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? This can't be happening. Like the surprise is already gone. And this plan that I had that was going to be so magnificent, just like totally got wrecked. And I'm like, oh my heck, what the world? And I felt so bad. I didn't know any of this prior, but then he told me and I felt so bad. It was kind of funny the whole time. was ruined. He had three months to plan and all the plans blew up. <laughs> a few life lessons I learned in there. You can plan as much as you want. Sometimes it's still gonna correct. Sometimes you can just plan and plan and plan. If you have all this time to plan and you don't use it as well as you wish you should have or wish you could have and it kind of blows up in your face. But still I was like, it's fine. It's okay. I just want to be engaged. I just want to be with this beautiful girl that I love so much. And it was amazing. So we get there and we just start walking and walking and we're walking and walking. And I am just have no idea where we're going. Turns out neither did they, but I didn't know. <laughs> we were planning the whole time, like the car ride. I'm like texting my friend and driving, like looking back to him. He's like, okay, I think we can do this trail. We get there. I'm like looking at him. Like, and I am oblivious. I'm just like, woo. <laughs> so we start hiking up Watchman's Trail, right? Yep. And again, never done that one. So that was kind of fun. A new aspect of our life, never done this. So we hike, it's beautiful, and it's a lot easier than Angel's Landing, which in the end, probably better. Yeah, it was good. So it was beautiful. And I'm just pumped. They're filming the whole way, just like us on this trail. I love Marin. (laughs) And so I'm so grateful that she was willing to do that. And we get to the top and I'm like, expecting our family to be there or something because <laughs> his mom had called him a few times so i was like oh great there's gonna be like, this huge thing set up like flower petals maybe or something <laughs> like balloons i'm like it'll be this huge thing like this a like sign expectation reality it was <laughs> awesome love it we get there and it's just a bunch of strangers like so many strangers i'm like crap there are so many people how in the world are we supposed to make like a romantic classic classical video with all these people just like that's a cool spot over there and I'm just like no just get away from my camera in this video <laughs> and it worked out great so he walks me down off the trail we go he picks a good location with a good background and then he just like nails down and says the cutest thing ever yep it was totally um, unplanned totally just like flying by the seat of your pants <laughs> And it worked. Nine days after I met you, I told you I love you. Nice. Nine months since the day. And I'm hoping that you spend the rest of your months and years in life with me. So, Aspen Brook Schultz.
great story to tell for stuff like this. Totally. And don't worry, the family did come through. They were at the end by our car, decorated it all. So adorable. I was pumped. <laughs> we still have it on our car. It's been like four weeks yeah, later. It's been a while. We still get congratulations. Yeah, That's people great. honk at us because it says, we got engaged. It's so cute. We'll show you. <laughs> Again, just how crazy it all was from looking at rings in December to finally getting engaged in um, March mm -hmm. and the whole aspect of just not knowing anything the whole time and like trying to plan but <laughs> not really knowing how. And me ruining the surprise. <laughs> and just like these things you've never done before, you know? So how the heck are you supposed to plan for something that you can't possibly plan for because you've never done it? Exactly. But that's why we created this channel. That's why we love the life we live. Because we really want to strive to do things we've never done. So we have a great story, tons of laughs, and more experience. Because that's what life is all about. All of our lives, we've never been engaged before. But, but never ends now. <laughs> I love our story. I love our life. Even with the ups and downs and the running around and all the craziness in between so even when it's crazy remember guys life's out there go live it we love you <laughs>